your orchid saga. My name is Elkian Wiesma, also known as EJ. So yes, you guys, this is probably the saddest video that I will uh, hopefully ever make on my channel. I have been poisoning some of my orchids without me knowing it, obviously. So yeah, okay, here's the video. It's not going to be pretty, but it is what it is. And I'm making these videos to share uh, whatever I learn about orchids, whatever I do. Uh, in most cases, I hope to encourage you to do some things that are uh, make your orchids look better, grow better, etc. But if something wrong happens, I'm also going to make a video about it, of course. So you'll be sort of warned and not to try this at home. So that's uh, this type of video. But some orchids are uh, probably not going to make it. We will have a look in the, at them in a minute. First of all, I need to explain, of course. So I have, because I have so many orchids, I, uh, the chances to have bugs and pests is uh, fairly high, I think, or higher, the more you get. And that's okay, you need to be on top of them. So yeah, if you have the bugs, what I would suggest is have a bit of alcohol ready in a spray bottle or something like that, that kills off, uh, in my case, the mealy bugs, because I have the mealy bugs the most. And it's very easy if you don't have really have the time uh, to constantly obviously spraying your orchids which is also not very beneficial but i think you know what i mean so i have a little bottle and i can spray wherever i see a mealy bug and at least that one is dead and that's how i uh, keep it under control sometimes you have an orchid that is uh, will have a little uh, bit of an outbreak you just didn't see the the pests yet and then you deal with it uh, and some orchids just keep on getting them and getting them and I had a few of those, and those are my uh, dendrobly, uh, nobly types. And I recently did a beautiful video on them, how beautiful they are, were blooming, etc. I will link it in the end of this video. And But it just kept on coming back. And uh, we had a quite uh, a few beautiful days, sunny days outside. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to take my plants outside and I'm going to spray them thoroughly. So I'm going to... to reach every part of the plant wherever a mealybug can sit i'm going to spray it but i thought i want something that will be on the plants for a little bit longer so you may know that i really like the recipe of miss orchid girl with uh, that's our all water paraffin oil and some liquid soap um, and I use that and that is a, a, a very perfect recipe and uh, you don't want to use it on the blooms and the buds but for the rest it's, uh, the, your art should be fine if you are uh, keeping uh, the structures uh, uh, or leveled and, and, uh, and you should be fine so I, I use that especially on new orchids uh, I also have a video about that and I will link it works great so I thought if I start to use alcohol with a paraffin oil um, maybe that will be the, not the alcohol it, it evaporates of course but at least we have some oil and then I thought well basically that's the same there's not much different so I need something with a strong fragrance uh, to it um, to keep the pests away a few years back I now believe uh, Roger uploaded a video on the I, he calls it the hippie soap and it's basically a solution. I don't know the ingredients uh, anymore from top of my head, but one of them is tea tree oil. And I used that, I used the same recipe, and I can remember that I did get uh, bad results. So I thought, I still have the tea tree, the tea tree soap. Let's, uh, let's put it in the mixture, so the tea tree will be as the oil is sort of uh, layer on top of the plant and protected thereby for at least the next coming uh, week or weeks. So all the individual uh, ingredients I used with uh, kind of good successes. The happy, happy, uh, the happy soap didn't do much for me, so that's why I didn't use it anymore. But the ingredients I didn't have bad results. So what I did was I had some RO water, some alcohol, I put in some paraffin oil, and instead of the liquid soap, the more organic liquid soap that I normally use for your dishwashing. Uh, I skipped that one and I used the tea tree oil and something did go very bad. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the tea tree oil is uh, toxic for the plants. As long as it doesn't get inside of the plants, it's kind of okay. 
But because my plants had mealy bugs, they did bite into the plants and thereby left wounds, open wounds. So the tea tree oil had all the chance to get into the plants and into the leaves and did its thing. It's absolutely horrible and it took me a few days to even uh, start filming this because I feel so responsible for my plants. And these plants are kind of common here so I can easily, kind of easily uh, replace them if I want but that is not where why I have these plants. I love it when they are for years in my collection they get bigger and bigger and bigger and, and yes, you just find a way to grow them which suits you and suits your plants etc. And then you make a mistake, a honest mistake I think but um, at least I wanted to film this just to let you know maybe don't use tea tree oil. I'm not gonna use it anymore on my plants. Maybe on the shelf because it really works against the box and keeping them away but never ever directly on my plants again and uh, here is why. Okay let's start in this corner. I'm going to save the, the, the bad, the very bad for the last. This is not looking pretty as well. These are my carcidon types. I must say, these did have the spider mites. Catacetums are known for uh, getting spider mites on them. Last year I was very lucky, I didn't have any, and this year, as you can see about the wounds, I had a heck a load of spider mites on them, and I didn't notice, I just didn't see them. And then I did use a spray solution, and the oil gets into the, the wounds. And there is a bit of a yellowing leaf over there, but the rest seems to stay on the plants. Eventually these will fall off and they will start making new growths next year. And these plants should be fine. But it just looks bad now. And as you can see, I just they are uh, uh, quite a nice size. They are really getting bigger, the plants themselves. So yeah, I was really looking forward to have some nice green leaves and maybe some flower spikes with them. <laughs> yeah, not gonna happen this year. So that's the catacinthites. Then go inside of my orchid room. I had sprayed a few over here as well. <coughs> Sorry for the peeping noise. It always happens with this door. Look at this one. So yeah, this looks very, very bad as well. This one also had a spider mite. And it took badly, so there probably were a lot of wounds in here, so a lot of tea tree oil could get in the plant. But yet still, the other leaves seem to do fine. And that's why, yeah, I'm not sure if this was already yellowing, it's an older leaf, I'm, I'm not completely sure. But anyhow, that's why I think it's the wounds, because this is the newest growth, and it looks the best, the baddest. So, um, the worst, I should say, I'm sorry. The worst. So that's that's why I think it's the wound. Otherwise, these would at least look similar as this one, uh, in my opinion. I'm not completely sure, of course. Uh, luckily, I don't have any, <laughs> not much experience with this. But anyhow, um, also on this one, newest growths look bad. These are just all of these that was already there. It's just dying off. But the rest is kind of okay. So I think these plants will survive. And I had one, whoops, one over here. Some oil did get in the wounds, but I think it will be fine. So far, uh, kind of okay, uh, uh, if you consider the circumstances. <laughs> but now we're going to the worst, you guys, we're going to the worst. So be prepared. This is the first indication over there. Look at, it was beautiful green. And now we are getting there. Look at this. It's... Yeah, I don't know even what to say. It's so sad. Here they are. Horrible. They look absolutely horrible. New growths dying off, as you can see. Dropping the leaves like there's no tomorrow yellowing leaves and they were so pretty and it did so well in my care so yes i'm pretty sure it's the tea tree oil that that did get into the plants and there you go it's just it, i'm i'm afraid to touch them but it doesn't matter because these leaves are already dead but they just fall off so easily i hope this is still a test we have a few green leaves left so let's hope 
that those stay on there and I can save them. I'm, I'm absolutely going to try to save them. But this cake, it is the yellow stardust, it was for Inse. He gave me the plant and I was trying to send one back. Well, Inse, <laughs> you have to wait a little bit longer. And this is my oldest and drawing. I talk about this one in that uh, blooming video as well, but you can see. Oi, 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 oi. And the amount of leaves, it's terrible. Absolutely. So these uh, three, these four, I'm not sure. These are the worst. I'm not sure if these are going to make it. And I did spray those four as well. I have this coloration on this one, but it was making uh, a new growth that's still there. I cannot see it right now, but it, uh, I checked it yesterday. And these you can see. But still quite some green leaves on the plants themselves. And these leaves are really nicely attached, still strong. Some fall off, but not that much. But they will stop growing, as you can see. It looks like crown rot, but it's from the oil. And the delicate leaves, so the, the oil did penetrate into the leaves. And it looks like crown rot, but you can see over there, there's as well. So yeah, these are the worst. Well, actually not these ones, these guys. Yeah, it's so sad, it's absolutely so sad. It feels really oily, of course, but like leather almost. So yeah, I'm going to clean the floors pretty soon, but here there was some green on there left. But you can see the marks. I had no idea there were so many bite marks from uh, the mealy bugs on them. So yeah, you can see a lot of leaves. And this is now when I'm filming it, it was about um, a week ago, I think. It's now a week ago. So I hope they will stabilize now and that, yeah, of course, there's some leaves that I still will fall off, but I hope these green ones stay on there. This will actually feel firm. Yes, oh, that, that, that's good, that's good. So I just quickly uh, took off all the leaves and did swipe them. Now you can see, it's a heck load of leaves. Absolutely ridiculous. So and this is how they look now. So they all have a few leaves left, also some yellow ones. I expect those to fall off as well, and I can only hope and wish that these green ones will stay on. Then we probably can save them. We probably can, but these yellow ones will fall off. But who knows, some of the green ones, I hope these will stay on there. And then, uh, but this is, uh, this is what we're left with now. And over here some fails. You already see the discoloration on the leaves, on these beautiful big fails. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. This doesn't look right over here. And see on a fairly new leaf. So delicate leaf, probably some bites marks and some, well, but this is fine. So I, I, I think these might survive. I'm not completely sure what this one will do because this is the newest leaf. They feel firm. And the rest looks fine. I didn't spray these guys. I might spray this one. I'm not completely sure anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah, overall, there, I think there are three or four fails that are not doing uh, well. And I did spray these guys. You can see here some marks from the oil. Um, but these didn't have uh, much mealybugs on them. So, no wounds there, or barely any. And they, you can see these are very shiny now, it's from the oil, a little layer. And those do perfect fine. This is just an older leaf, and I believe this was already there. But the new leaves, the more delicate leaves, as you can see, still there. Yeah, so I think it's, uh, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure because of the bite marks. You can see the strange yellowing color there. Never had this happen.
So yes, you guys, it's pretty bad. And like I said, it's now been a week ago or so uh, when I did spread the last ones. The last ones were my dendrobiums, the noblies, if I remember correctly. Uh, and these, as you just saw, took the worst. Um, I, am, I must have say, there are a few green leaves left. And a few days back, I thought maybe they're gonna drop all. It looked like they dropped all, almost at once. So I now can only hope that those last green leaves stay on there and that those leaves are enough to photosynthesize or give the, the plant the ability to, and then hopefully make a new growth of something. I am definitely not going to buy a new plant uh, if, I, if I'm really going to lose them, even though they may look worse uh, for the next couple of years, or smallish for the next couple of years to go, it's my fault and my responsibility and I will do everything I can to make them better. So they may not look as big, as, as flushy with blooms as they did uh, a few weeks back, a few months back. That's okay, this is, this is my doing and I feel responsible and I need to fix it if I can. I wanted to make this video, so to let you know, uh, you may reconsider if you use tea tree oil or if you have products and you start uh, combining them. I know it's, 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 uh, sometimes it works, but it also cannot work and it can be uh, quite uh, heavy on the plants and even to a degree that, they might, that you might kill them, you might poison them. So be aware. Just, uh, and of course, use it first on one or two plants, you might think. Why didn't you do that? You, you grow orchids for more than 20 years. But well, actually, I sort of did. I did it on my catechetin types. In the first one or two days, I didn't really see much uh, of, of that would concern me. I know if they have bites and you use the paraffin oil, it will leave marks as well. But that's it. It's probably or apparently not toxic for them. So I thought, okay, this is what I, what I expect. This is what I get every time if I spray my plants with a paraffin oil solution and they have pets, uh, pets, uh, pests, there we go. <laughs> um, so it looks similar. So I thought after two days, okay, this is fine. This might going to work because I, I could smell the tea tree oil on the plants and that was exactly what my plan was to keep the box away. But uh, yeah, and then I started to, uh, to use it on a few more plants. And after that, the last couple of days, I really saw the yellowing of the leaves. So yeah, damage already had been done. Okay, so I definitely will do updates on this video. Uh, probably in a few months or so, or something will start. Maybe I could do an, a very quick update for, of some of my dendrobium because they shoot out a few new growths. Who knows? Who knows? Wishful thinking. And uh, talking about wishful thinking, I like, I'm, I'm a very possible, uh, positive uh, uh, person. I like to uh, describe myself. This was a, uh, a bitter pill to swallow for me, I must admit. And I thought, well, I want to end my videos as positive as I can. And the only thing, it's stupid, but the only thing positive about this is, is that at least the mealy box that were on the plants are dead. Okay, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. And I'm promising you guys, I'm going to try to make the best videos out there. And probably this is one of the best because this is how we learn, I know, but this is uh, a little bit too heavy. We don't want to lose our plants. Anyhow, this is right hap happening right now in my greenhouse and orchid room. So I film it and I will give, give updates. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.